So I got my hands on an old Viper pit, which is basically a home cockpit loosely based on the F-16 Falcon. Sadly, nothing of this is functional or comes with connectors typically seen on a modern PC. Some of the peripherals did show signs of life when connected via a D-Sub to a USB adapter, but this is clunky at best. We know the solution to this already foo, DIY. I decided to start with the joystick, which was already heavily modified by the previous owner and the original circuit boards were already gone. Which is once again very sad, because the old shift registers were also gone. This means more work for me and the Arduino Pro Micro that I was going to use, because without the shift registers I'd need a button matrix instead. Or, you know, order some new shift registers, but where's the fun in that? Okay, this is a 5x5 button matrix. The way this works is like this. I have 5 output lines and I have 5 input lines. The dials are just to make sure I don't get any backflow uh, when I'm reading the signals and I'm not sure how the Arduino would behave if I feed some a voltage back when the line is low again. So let's make sure this doesn't happen. And same with the resistors here, they're just here to um, pull the uh, inputs down for good. I know there are some internal resistors on the Arduino, but I'm not sure how good they are, so I'm making sure they are down for good. So, the way this works is like this. Uh, when I read the lines uh, in, in code, I just go every output line, line by line, and I set the line high. And when the line is high, I can see any backflow um, that happens when the push buttons are closed and they just uh, read all the inputs first, second, third, and so on and so on until all are read. And then I put the line down again and set the next high and start reading all the inputs again. And this way I know exactly on, on which uh, scan line I am at the moment and just have to make sure I don't miss any of the buttons and that's all the magic on this button matrix. So now that we know we need 10 pins on the Arduino for the button matrix, we can start with the building process. This is pretty straightforward. I gathered the old joystick completely and I rewired everything to the new schematics I designed. And this this is a pretty boring process and I won't bother you with the details of soldering everything together. And the more interesting part is the source code in the end. And here is the code for this. I have my five outputs here. These are my, my pins on the Arduino. And here are my five inputs and here are my put puts. This is basically where I store the current button state after reading them. Because I have to do some mapping later and uh, send everything back to the PC uh, with the joystick class. So setup works like this. The button matrix is uh, five by five, so I have to iterate five times. And I just set my output pins here um, to output. And I set them to low. And last but not least, the inputs are set to input. And that's all for the setup. Reading is straightforward, it's just the same. I set the output lane high, then I go over every input, check every signal, write these to the put put array, and set it to low again. And this way I have with each loop a read on every input possible, and have these stored in my array, and the rest is just mapping back, like uh, doing the head mapping, and setting the buttons and this I just do the same. I, I'm looping again over the array and this time backwards because um, systems usually just assume the first button is the fire button and so on. So uh, when I check my array and I did this just by try and error, um, the, the fire buttons are all on the end of the array. And this is why I start reading the array backward. So I get the most important buttons, fire stage one, fire stage two, and so on with numbering starting with zero in the end, and that's it. And this is how it looks with the test software. 
this is with SDL1 and this will be with SDL2. This is how it looks on the terminal. And let's test this one. Okay. I don't know if you can hear this, but I'm yanking the stick. The X is all working. And now I'm pushing some buttons. Uh, one of the heads, the next head, third head that is actually a head programmatically too. So it's mapped to axis in STL1 and says head in STL2. Fire sticks, fire stage 1, fire stage 2. And I think I, I missed this head before. This works as well. So oh, there you have it. Um, some of the possible um, connections are not used. I have three unused uh, switches that I didn't assign yet. I may add some additional switches to the device, but I'm not sure about this yet. But they exist in code already, so they can be used when I feel like it. Uh, this is basically the same, but using the FDEV test system and Antimicro X. A very cool app where you can do some remapping of the joystick buttons to keyboard and mouse and stuff like this for games that don't support joysticks at all. Okay, enough of the theory, let's try some action. I'm using X4 as usual and I'll put this thing to a test. That's all for today and I hope you enjoyed it. Erreiche profitabler Handel. Vier. container.